Hello, I'm standing with a group of miners from the 1890s. These men went off to work under Charters Towers armed with a, a pick and a little sharpened gad to make a, a hole in the underground rock and bring it up to the surface. They were working for the large mining companies. Around 1900, Charters Towers was a mining town. Big mining companies had moved in. Machinery was being brought in via a railway line to Townsville, which was completed in 1882. It didn't go anywhere else. It didn't go south. It just became the connection between the coastal port of Townsville and the mining city of Charters Towers. This was a very large place. These men toiled hard. They were paid well, but it was because it was very dangerous work. Initially, they lived in little simple structures, tents, bark, huts. Then when the, uh, before the railway line, they could bring up a bit of corrugated iron and nail it to a, a bush frame. When the railway line was completed, then we saw these cottages, like the miners' cottage, springing up all over town. Hundreds of them, hundreds were built here. And as the gold petered out, uh, well, maybe not so much petered out, but the interest and the water and the First World War came along, miners left and took their families to the next gold field. And they actually packed up their houses like this and moved them to Townsville, because Townsville was growing. But anyway, we can explain a lot more if you come into the miners' cottage. You're quite welcome, and uh, we'll take you through on a tour. Thanks for watching.